Only on six tonight, what does the police review board think of Orlando PD's new training simulator? Last week, we showed you this high dollar, high tech simulator and how officers are using it to practice use of force and de-escalation. Tonight, News 6's Eric Von Inken is there as the Citizen Review Board, the group tasked with double checking the decision making at the PD, tries it for themselves. In the car, please step out of the car. Step out of the car. Citizen Police Review Board member Tom Keene. Okay, watch out, watch out. That's it, that's it. Sir, put the gun down. Is paired with Reggie McGill, part of the Orlando Mayor's MLK Commission on Equality and Justice. Okay, we have to, we should have the tasers out right now, I think. Yeah, yeah. They're thrown into a simulated standoff at City Hall. A guy with a gun walks into the building. Okay, he's already in the building now. We have to follow in, inside the building. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We're going to go into the building? Okay. Now we have to enter the building and, yeah, we didn't do very well on that one, I don't think. In fact, they did nothing. It's kind of hard to just pop into it and, and really understand what's going on, but it does look like it, it provides some good training opportunities for police to de-escalate. De-escalation, one of the biggest and hottest topic right now across the nation. 62% of the modules built into the system are de-escalation related. Orlando's police chief is sharing the simulator with the review board and the MLK Commission because it's their job to be critical of the police department when necessary. They regularly review use of force encounters and look at how officers are training, learning to use force. goes right in here. The police chief believes this brand new simulator, the first surround screen, high definition 4K version in the world, sold to a police agency is so real that trainees are tested to see if their training has taught them to make the right decisions at the right time. Nothing like what you see on television. So what does the review board think? But it was an eye-opener, it really was. Each one, you put your life on the line in terms of trying to protect others, and so I have a great appreciation for OPG after experiencing this personally. Afterward, the review board members got a debriefing. They got to go over those scenarios specifically with training officers, and there was a whole lot of second guessing, thinking about what they did wrong and what they did right. But the police chief says that's the point of the simulator to figure out how to get it right the first time. In Orlando, Eric Von Aiken getting results, News 6.